Hello guys and welcome back to Imperium Galactic Survival Reforge Eden. My name is Rakuno and yes, uh, apparently <laughs> I am at the Polaris uh, Inferno Club. Yeah, it's on it's on this planet. It's on the alien planet. And uh, I don't know if there's any difference here. Uh, yeah, we, we, we got this guy just selling liquor and all of the other juicy <laughs> drinks. Apparently, he's buying all of the Xyrex uh, weaponry. <laughs> uh, but he's not buying it at a good price, so you know what? Screw this. Hey, dude. No? Nothing? No? He's just talking there. I can prompt him, but for absolutely no reason. Oh, ooh, we got a special bar down here. Hey, baby. How's it going? Uh, I like your moves. I'm digging the moves there. Mind if I dance with you? Hmm? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a birthday. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. And I, and I fool around. What about this guy? This guy is selling some luxury. Maybe I could buy them? I don't know. I don't think he's worth uh, selling stuff to. I heard the new cruiser can make the... <laughs> okay. Well, th these guys are just still there. You can prompt them, but there's nothing happening here. I think that there's nothing to do with them. Okay, this guy is selling pretty much the same crap. All right, that was very fun there. I, I enjoyed the Inferno Club. But uh, yeah, there's nothing to do here. Uh, uh, you know, there's a little bit of a trading going on. Uh, what's wrong with you, buddy? You weren't really popular with the women in there, so you decided to dance floating in the air? Uh, is that what's going on? Uh, yeah, you seem like a good, cool dude, guy. Well, all right, later. Though I did get my class system up, and, and now I got my plus 5 damage with minigun and shotgun, blah blah blah. All pretty damn awesome. I, <laughs> to be honest, uh, what I did is I took on a couple of abandoned POIs there, and, and just did two of them. The first one I did got me up to 170 ish abominations killed there were so freaking many so okay class 3 vanguard uh, you've proven yourself against mutant hordes and shown that no soldier or freak can take you down but what about heavy weapons you've never tried your hand against military k bots kill 20 assault mechanoids use any shotgun or minigun okay are they talking about the big robots or just the uh, regular mechanoids i'm kind of wondering I'll have to test it out. Okay, so yeah, I did pretty much everything that was to do on the planet. And I'm back on the Charon, the Mantis is parked there, the Cleomedes is there, ready to kick some ass. And I don't know why there's just one glowy light in the back glowing. So, how did it go? Yeah, I killed the 300 abominations. Really? By cheating? Of course I didn't cheat. Why would I cheat? Nothing. I could have helped, Burkuna. I mean, it's nice for the offer, but no, y y you're okay here. Sure. Burkuna, it would be good to continue on with our mission. Yes, uh, I'm gonna stop seeing squirrels everywhere and start heading towards Prina. I know we got a mission to do, we're gonna do it. Are you sure? You're so easily distracted. Of course, dude. Of course. Alors, le Club Inferno. Vraiment. Hey, don't say anything to the others about that, okay? Anyways, I didn't stay long. C'est bien. Prochaine fois, amène-moi. All right, thank you. All right, let's go up into orbit at a whopping 17 meters per second. Ugh. Okay, now we're going to Zeragrim, where it's a dead class system. You need to fly forward. What the hell do you think I'm doing? Oh, I wasn't properly enough. Ah, oh my God, everything's going wrong. <laughs> you need, I need to make more pentaxin. All right, fine. All right, up to Zeragrim we go. Is it working now? Jeez, okay. Okay, so that planet class four here was already done. No, we already got that log. So we're gonna move over to Horathedra. Yeah. Well, I saw an ocean planet in this system, and I just had to go and stop by. Look at this. Look at this beauty. Isn't this... <laughs> doesn't it look awesome? I... I know. I, I squirreled again. Yeah, this... Squirrel. I'm gonna go check out the planet. Really? I thought we were going to Prina. I know, Marv, okay? Just... just bear with me. Jeez. Oh, yeah. I like this planet. Whoa, okay, no, 
Nope, not into the water. <laughs> oh, this planet is gorgeous. I love it. Uh, I'm going to go wander around and see what I can find on this beautiful water planet. The water world. Yep, no Kevin Costner here. I'm pretty goddamn sure, though. Well, I know in places like these, you can find some underwater POI. And what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to go check it out. Uh, flashlight, I want to see something. We've got here a smuggler's barge, which is pretty much dug in, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that thing doesn't have many things interesting. I guess I could dig and uncover a little bit more of it, but uh, no. There is one thing that I wish, though. We could build an underground base, a little bit like Subnautica. I mean, even No Man's Sky's got it. It would be nice, really cool to be able to be underwater. Well, I did find a broken engine, and that thing has so many hit points. Now, I was kind of wondering uh, around the planet. Basically, what I'm looking for is something that I've seen in a Spanj video. Uh, I think it was like uh, some jellyfish or something like that. I can't really recall. I think it would be in an ocean planet. Uh, hell, maybe you guys have seen it before. Uh, but I'm I'm not finding it. I'm not I'm not getting any luck here. So we're just gonna leave and we're gonna warp over to Prina, where the next part of our mission awaits uh, to conclude the mystery of Object 82. Are we finally going to Prina now? Yeah, Marv, we are going to Prina. Okay, now please just stay quiet and bear with me when I do stuff like that. Okay, I get easily distracted. Okay, here we are in the Prina system again, looking amazing. I see over here we got a deep space telescope, and I will not be fooled again. Although there's a marker, it's probably not there. All right, so we are approaching Object Thirteen from the ancient progenitors. This time, I, I, I took the Darius. <laughs> the flight would be too long at 30 meters per second. So, yeah, I'm taking shortcuts here. And there are more puzzles to be had. So let's go do them. This code is the sum of the other three codes. Okay, I guess I gotta do the other ones first. This code is one, two, three, four. Wow, okay. <laughs> Didn't need to Google that, that's for sure. Uh, this code is double uh, what the code to the left is, plus 763. All right, Marv, your turn, okay? One, two, three, four times two plus 673. What is the answer? The answer is 3231. Thank you, Marv. The value of this code is the code to the left minus the code straight across. All right, Marv, your turn. 3231 minus 1234. The answer is 1997. All right, thank you, Marv. All right, Marv. So the answer of this one is the sum of the other three codes. All right, get back to me. Rakuna, the answer is 6462. Okay, 6462. Oh, hey, thanks a lot, Marv. You were a great help. You're welcome. All right, subspace link, destination, coordinates, blah, 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 system, name, Kumbiu. All right. Subspace link status inactive. Key status available. Let's activate and turn to get the key. All right. Let's get the hell out of here. So, <laughs> Kumbiu. Hey, thanks a lot, Mar, for the help out there. That was that was pretty awesome. Okay, you're pretty you're pretty quick. Okay, so let's look for Kumbiu. So, Kumbiu seems to be close next to Zyrex territory. So, how, how far is that away? That is 219 light years away, so let's put our waypoint and start heading there slowly. Alright guys, so I, I made a few jumps, uh, pretty much wandering around, uh, looking at uh, out for Polaris stations, fixing my ship, buying ammo. Uh, now I need to collect a little bit more pentaxid, and for such an occasion, uh, I, I brought in a little something that I built in uh, creative. It is called the Mole Rat. It, it's 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 not one of my best works there, but I think it'll do the trick. And yes, like all of my builds, 
I've put I've put a shield in there because you never know it's kind of annoying when you're going mining and all of a sudden you get suddenly shot in the ass of course I had to forget to put a goddamn detector on this thing ah all right so here's a pentaxid asteroid I'm kind of curious to see how well this goes okay not too shabby it's going okay uh, it was just annoying mining with uh, the drill from the mantis sometimes it would get it sometimes it would not uh, I don't have the resources the upgrade kits to be able to uh, uh, get the, the the big lasers on it the big drillings lasers so in the meantime I guess I'm just gonna bring in this little puppy which has a quite a decent uh, carry capacity all right, so after mining this, I managed to get uh, about uh, almost 300 pictastic crystal. This thing has a capacity of a uh, 8 8,055 SU. So, yeah, it's pretty decent. Uh, again, an ugly ship, but decent still. All right, so before we proceed to Kumbiyu, I wanted to check this planet out. It's a... Uh, it's actually a tropical planet. Yes, what what Marv and Bart were pretty much dreaming of moving in uh, eventually one of these days. And I think because I don't want to be going there in about three or four years because this ship is so slow, I'm going to grab the Darius up for a spin and go check it out. Hey, dude, you'll have your chance to check it out. I just got to grab Darius because it's so slow. Come on, Rakuna. I want to go with you. I'll take pictures for you, okay? What about me? I want to see. Yeah, I'll take pictures for you too. I'll show you and eventually maybe you'll, can, you can decide if you want to live on a tropical planet one day. All right, take care guys. And what do we have here? A Polaris station. Uh, I don't know if, I don't remember if I've seen one like this. I think I'm gonna go uh, take a look inside. Uh, well, hello there, my fellow, uh, oh. Oh, hello. Okay, I didn't know that the Polaris had these big assault robots. Man, you are intimidating. Okay. Actually, this whole base is intimidating. Uh, well, from what I see, it looks like a big, big base. Uh, but there's nothing. There's no traitors or anything. Everyone's just chilling. Uh, maybe not. No, there, apparently there is uh, something more to this base. Uh, I, yeah, there's a door at the end. We got ore production over here. What else do we got? What else do we got? Okay, so it seems like we got the main power on the side here. Let's go check that out. Flashlight, please. Thank you. Uh, apparently, I need to enter a freaking code to go inside of this room. Maybe I can find it somewhere. Yep. Okay, I think I found I found uh, some sort of a cargo bay. Hello. Warning: Authorized person. No only. Oh, uh, the switch! I want to open the switch. Is that gonna do something? Is that gonna do something? Uh, switch. Um, okay. Uh, I I flipped the switch. And uh, what did that do? Hey, dude. Oh, okay. I found the little trading area. Very interesting. Hey, dude. What do you got? So this guy is selling me things at almost double the price, like totally not worth it. I'm not grabbing any of your stuff. You are stealing from me, kind sir. Oh, except these things. Oh, he's buying all sorts of uh, medical equipment at a reasonable price. But, uh, you know, I can't part with that. I think I'm going to buy a little bit of Pentaxid from this guy. <laughs> and I could always mine it, but it's easy to buy. And I got money, so what the hell? This guy is selling some raw diamonds at a reasonable price. I know I'm going to need some diamonds eventually to make some sort of resource. I'm not exactly sure what, but uh, I'll have to check. I think it was for some focusing lenses or something, which I, I'm not exactly sure what that's for yet. guess we'll figure it out. Right now I'm pretty much just wandering the station because I know there must be like a little... A little place with uh, a code hiding somewhere. And, and I'm a curious chap there. I like to go and explore. 
Well, this must be the VIP room. All right, let's get some money in here. Uh, you know what? I left all of my money over at the Charon there. <laughs> we'll be able to grab it. Ah, there you go. Notice all room. Today's passcode to the power room is 3306. Yeah, I'm going to have to go up there and check it out. 3306. And here we go. Okay. Uh, what's going on in here? It's uh, it's pretty much as they said. It's a power room. Hey, power room. Uh, I don't I don't think there's much to do in here. No shady traders. No, no nothing. Probably like you got the advanced generator here, and I I would expect that the core be around here somewhere. But again, I am friendly with the Polaris, and will not piss them off. I will just go grab my ship and proceed. Ow! Hey, asshole! You stepped on my foot! Yeah, n nothing to say about that? Just gonna keep waltzing around? Okay, fine. Fine. Be that way. Alright, so we are on Zuar. Uh, tropical Paradise. We got some Talon. We got some strange stones. Really? Oh. I gotta say, I've never seen something like this before. Okay. Uh, is there anything to be done with this strange stone formation? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, apparently the strange stone formation has, like, hidden rooms in there. And uh, besides that... I am the king of the strange stone formation! No, uh, really, uh, I think it's time that I get out of here. Oh, look at this view. Oh my god. No, I could not play like this. I gotta say, with all the plants and everything here, this this would be a good place for Bart and Marv to settle down one of these days. Oh my god, look at this. The Hal Halkian ruins? Halcyon ruins? Ooh. This looks really neat. Hey, buddy. Uh, what are you selling? Well, he's selling stuff. First of all, let's put away our weapon there. Uh, before I accidentally uh, fire one off. Oh, this guy is selling corn. This guy, this guy is selling a lot of corn. You know what? I don't really know what corn is used for. Uh, guys, I think you better work on your planting skills. Uh, you're missing some grow lights here, some grow plot lights. Because, uh, yeah, everything's dead. You have some hydroponic slams there. Why don't you take a few and just put them up? This is, this is unacceptable. You're talent for crying out loud. Yeah, I think all the lights were completely forgotten throughout the whole base. Uh, it's like somebody did the base and it's like, Oh my god, finally, it's done. It's amazing. It looks absolutely awesome. And it's like me when I build a ship, I always forget to put something like a detector or a pentaxid tank, and I mess up all the time. Ah, uh, that is a nice statue. Hey, dude, you have to help me. The last batch of eggs from my prize crawler were stolen in the night. I would be forever in your debt if you were to return them to me unharmed. Please recover them. They're special. I will recover these special eggs for you. Thank you, Traveler. Exactly five eggs were stolen. Please return once you have found all five. His eggs have most likely been already been eaten, but perhaps you can obtain eggs for the local raptors. And try to stir it up, and he won't know the difference. I will return your precious eggs. Really? Really? That, that's my quest. Get some eggs. Alright. Let's find some eggs. And I know what you guys are thinking. Dude, Rakuna, stop procrastinating. You need to move to the next progenitor thing, Shiggy Jigamabob. Yeah, I know, I know. But, uh, you know, I, I like being thorough. I like exploring, I like visiting. Look at this little area. Uh, yeah, this place looks like it would be full of dangers. Uh, dangers? Dangers? No dangers here, it would seem. Look at, each, <laughs> look at these giant mushrooms. They look awesome. These look like giant ant hills or termite hills or whatever. Be like the, it would be cool if you had like little 
teeny bugs just coming out in which you can like take out your flamethrower and totally burn them. All right, I know, overreacting here. Oh, well, what is this? Oh, some gold ore. Oh, well, don't mind, I, don't mind if I do. It's funky, it looks like the chest is like glowing green as well. Oh, I just find it funky how the water is pink when it, when it's shallow. It looks amazing. Well, here are some raptors. Uh, eggs? No? All I'm getting from them is meat. Uh, you know what, usually when you... <laughs> I've been flying for a little while. Usually uh, when you don't want to have raptors on your tail, uh, that's when they all come. And now that I actually want some, that's where they all freaking disappear on me. You know what, usually I'd be more than happy to help out my little uh, Talonian friends, but uh, I got better things to do after all. I, know, I don't want to spend all day just looking around for some goddamn dino eggs and then return him and so we can say thank you dude here's five reputation points uh, don't you know spend wisely hey dude so yeah the pl the planet looks freaking amazing uh yeah it eventually would be a good idea you could you guys could probably go and uh, live on the tropical planet there you got some talent friends over there just remember to bring eggs well all right, I just warped to uh, Zegitara, Legihara. Yeah, Legihara. It's got a big red freaking planet there. Now, on this planet here, we got a molten medium called Asmaira. Asmaira, or, or, or however you want to say it. And here it says that you can find some magnesite. Now, I know we're going to need those. So I'm going to go take a look at this beautiful molten class lava planet and see what we can find besides magnesite. Jump speed ahead! Oh. My. God, would you look at that? It, it's a completely full, full on lava planet. This is totally insane. Now I see that we have a little bit of a Xyrex presence uh, about. We're going to go down on the planet directly with the Charon there. I want to go down there. That th that big ship can probably hover, hover by one of those islands and then I'll bring in my little ships to uh, mine out the Magnesite. Oh yeah, the Xyrex presence is strong here. We're gonna have to be careful. Luark Station. Yeah, I'm not doing that again. And have my goddamn loot blow up right in my face killing me in the process holy crap what is that what is that big flashy green planet a toxic moon it would seem um i think there are some more interesting pois to do down there uh, i'll probably go take a look afterwards oh my god i can barely see anything on this planet ah uh, jesus christ uh, I've never been on this type of planet, but it's awesome. Uh, up, 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 lift, lift. Oh, hey. Um, I totally forgot to check the G force on this planet, and it's freaking hot outside of here. It's like 588 degrees. I'm gonna have to put some little boosts there on my armor because this is not gonna work otherwise. Well, I gotta say, the Darius, always being my little reliable ship, is able to fly in this with no damn issues. Now, um, I'm gonna have to maybe install some temporary thrusters on the side of the Charon so it's gonna be able to lift up with all the weight it's carrying. And what do we have here? A Rados service platform. Hell, let's blow the crap out of it. Come on, die, you filthy turrets! That's pretty cool. I could just, like, go down here and get a little bit of cover while my shield reloads. Hey, dude!
Yeah, I just gotta make sure that I don't make a hole into the, inside the building. Because over here, as you can see outside, it's a whopping 1,090 degrees. This is completely insane. There's no way that I'd be able to stay out here for an extended period of time. So let's just go right here by the entrance. I'm gonna park my ass to it. So I can go in and out. Ow. Gravity is just insane. All right, let's go inside. Okay. Oof. Wow. Temperature here is just freaking insane. <laughs> All right. So I, I got dehydration. I, I guess I can just take a water and that's going to fix it. I thought I, I needed some medicine to be able to fix that little particular issue. Hey, dude. All right. You know what, while we're here, we're gonna reactivate our character class system. You never know, maybe I'll find myself some uh, assault mechanoids to kick, to kill in there. Uh, can I have maybe some rarer loots? I mean, we are on a goddamn lava planet, right? Uh, okay, gonna have to blast my way through this door. Hello? Anybody in here? Die, ah, you filthy Cyrex scum. Uh, how do you guys live here? I mean, you can't even go outside. It's ridiculous. I really have to be careful which door I blast open because I don't want uh, uh, the temperature to rise in here. And for that, I'm, I'm going to have to be very careful on what I shoot. Hey, guys. Hey, there. I do. Okay. Okay. Oh, we got a laser pew pew at the end over there. Uh, no, let's not use some explosives. Okay, let's get rid of these spawners. There you go. Uh, we got some energy, uh, all sorts of fuel in these containers. We're gonna loot them all. Make it all mine. And what do we have in here? Uh, just, just some basic stuff. Just wait a second, I'll be right with you. Thank you. And we got some more loot, more Xyrax just hiding on the other side of this glass window. You know, you did, you thought I, I, I didn't see you there, buddy. But, uh, yeah. You gotta understand that you can see through freaking windows. Okay, what's shooting at me? Where's the laser pew pews? Okay, it's just this guy. Alright, that's fine. Okay, a long hallway with loot, and a spawn pad right here. Let us go down! Oh, okay, well, these are the mechanoids. Let's see if these are what we need. No, apparently these are not the assault mechanoids that I'm looking for. Well, still gonna kill you guys. Nothing personal. Alrighty. What do we have in here? More loot. Uh, whatever I do in here, I gotta be careful not to destroy the core. Hello. Give me all the goodies. You do. And, uh... Yeah, these are pretty much the generators, power, and all that. But there's gotta be more to this POI than just this. There's There's gotta be some other places that I can go look. Well, there, there is this elevator. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go up. Yeah? Ooh, is this the control center? That looks like a, a little incy wincy uh, cafeteria. Hey, Darius. Yeah, I know it's hot in here. I know you're probably cooking there. Uh, all I know is I can see my some uh, magnesite over... Where is that? That must be some. And I thought I saw some more floaties somewhere. Ah, uh, yeah, over there. Maybe that is some as well. I'm gonna have to check that out. And I'm gonna have to figure out how I'm gonna be able to mine that stuff and get out of here, because so far, uh, this planet is <laughs> gonna be a problem to get off of. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, the, the command center here has been taken care of. Let's go look around a little bit more. Oh, I don't think I've been down this elevator. Nope, absolutely not. Not giving you a chance to spawn there, buddy. Oh, I can see that we got some turrets. First of all, let's take care of these Xyrax. 
and these guys and everything moving in here basically come around the corner there I don't want to go uh, fight you guys with the tourists shooting at me at the same time is that it oh yeah see another one down there ah you bastard ah you bastard They decided to hide from me, I guess. Gotta get... Oh my god, how come it's hitting me? Gotta get just the perfect angle. There you go. That's one down. Oh, you bastard. Ah! Oh, you're gonna play this way, will ya? You know what? Screw this. There you go. Ah, where are you, you filthy scum? Okay, security robot. Let's get rid of these spawners. And get rid of this guy, finally. Asshole. Alright, so uh, now let's go see what uh, lies down here. A spawner. Yeah, I, I don't like it. <laughs> I didn't like how he had like a big open room. Maybe he would have brought in an assault mechanoid there, but... Ah! Wait a second. Okay. <laughs> Well, it was just kind of a weird room. I felt like a trap in there. Oh, apparently I'm otter now with the Polaris. From killing all of these filthy Xyrex. Hell, I'll take it. Better prices and all that. Okay, so we found a core room. Now, uh, I don't want to destroy it. <laughs> I think it would be a terrible idea to destroy the core here. Well, unless I make a core and bring it in myself and make this my base, maybe that could work though. Now, I could consider this base done. Uh, eventually find a, get, get myself a core over here, insert it and make it my own. All right, so like I said, we have some heat signatures here. These are probably magnesite. Yeah, magnesite formation. Now, I, I don't know why everything is that texture and right at this line there, everything is changing. I don't know, it's like they, they couldn't afford to put the glowies on the whole planet. And it would seem that I have some more Xyrex presence up ahead. Yeah, this place is <laughs> quite dangerous. Oh my god, look at that. A foundry. I don't care what you guys say, but this <laughs> this looks like an awesome POI to do. Oh yeah. Okay, so you got the supply pads right there. Now let's uh, defang this space. Yeah, I'm getting fire from all sides. I know that I got these uh, other uh, service platforms like we did before. I'm going to have to defang everything here. And I don't think I'll make you go through the whole process of that. So I will see you afterwards when I'm ready to take on the foundry. Alright guys, so I destroyed all the defenses. I haven't taken on the base yet. I First of all, I wanted to come back here, uh, try to figure out a little solution to how to get off of this rock afterwards because of the high G uh, planet. Actually, this ship was... I, I meant it to be like a high G ship so that it could probably take on this sort of... Uh, this sort of gravity, but I think because the Mantis and especially the Cleomedes, that is a heavy boat. I'm gonna see if I can fly this puppy out on its own. And also, I know I got some containers full of titanium and, and steel plates and just cram pack with it. And I, I think I can dump that in some blueprints. I'll, I'll try to figure it out. Rakuna, it's cold and hot in here. Yeah, I know it's hot as hell here. I know it's even worse than the other planet we visited. Why did you bring us here? Now we're stranded. I, I, uh, I mean, what are you guys doing? Shouldn't you have been checking the gravity monitor or something like that to kind of warn me? Hey, Rakuna, you know, gravity's high here. Maybe you shouldn't land there. You're an ass. No, none of that. Do some quesi. I won't off this rock. I know, guys. Don't worry. We'll get out of here. We're all gonna die. No, Marv, you're not gonna die. Oh, I can feel my skin melting. Dude, get a hold of yourself, okay? We're gonna be okay. This this thing has like 
almost infinite energy with the radio isotope generator things. We're not going to die? We'll be okay. Don't worry, guys. Yeah, yeah. And we'll be, uh, we'll be collecting a little bit of magnesite. We'll figure everything out. I'm gonna put some uh, extra thrusters on some of the ships so we can work with the gravity and collect at least the magnesite. And I saw a couple of these uh, POIs had some uh, furnaces on there, so we'll be able to melt them down as well. Guys, I know things are looking grim, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll manage to get out of here and uh, <laughs> that'll be all for today. Uh, I know I'm kind of leaving you in a bad spot here with this creepy lava planet that is trying to kill me with every passing moment. But uh, we'll, I'll f have to find a solution. Uh, there's always a way out. So thank you for watching, guys. Until next time, take care and stay safe. Rakuna out.